<clears throat> Hello, mau pa ing adlaw, ing natanan. Good morning. Um, maing buntag or maing hapon. Uh, my name is Joe Del Pinaranda. As introduced, uh, I am from Biliran Province State University or Bipsu here in Biliran Province. Uh, uh, yana ha Bipsu, I handle the Strategic Innovation and Knowledge Laboratories Office or Center in partnership with DILG Biliran and the Philippine Futures Thinking Society. So I'd like to thank first DILG Biliran, headed by P. D. Nakila, uh, Mam Carol, uh, Eduardo Almazan, and the whole team. Thank you for organizing this. And of course, I'd like to thank our local government unit, uh, our barangays, our barangay officers who are here today. Uh, thank you so, so much for being here. So let's proceed directly to my presentation. Mm -hmm. Yun. So as you can see in my screen, uh, my upat ka picture ako ang imbutang. Uh, tagaan ko kamuhan 10 seconds to think of what possible word or concept and iyo na iisip based on these pictures. Sige. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, uh, five seconds left. After five seconds, gusto ko i iyakan. You shout the word that you can think you can think of based on these images. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. Hindi masyado nag shout pero I heard someone said time. There's also someone who probably mentioned time machine or future, di ba? May nalupag na car. May the online learning na high tech uh, at the bottom right. We also have a time machine at the upper right. And of course, upper uh, lower left is clock or taking time. So my question ako yun na. Uh, I have a question. Can someone predict the future? Possibly ba nga ma-predict natin ang future? The answer is, of course not. Unless you are God himself. Diba? God is omniscient. Maaramihin nga kung anong mahitabo tomorrow in the next futures. But humans as we are, we cannot. Even the next hour, di rin natin ma-predict. Kaya damon posible nga mahitabo. Daghang uh, events or activities that might affect the future. So uh, this discussion would deal on an introduction to futures thinking. Uh, again, this is just an introductory uh, lecture. This is not yet an advanced lecture. So and and bao bao la anaton pagiistoryahan about what we call as futures thinking. May da kita tolo na goals. For this session. Number one, I want you to define, explain in you an unmeaning and features thinking using your own words after this discussion. Second is to explain uh, the features thinking methodologies that we will be using in this session. Uh, finally, ma internalize niyo and ma discuss anuman and on say gamits of features thinking in local governance as barangay captains, as councillors, or tangguni ang barangay members, or secretary or treasurer. So sana, uh, nag-take down kita yan ng note and kita on natin if ma-meet ba niya objectives. So what can you see on this screen, in this TV? It's a Cathedral. Specifically, this is the Manila Cathedral. Sir Jodel, uh, why did you show this to us? Nga naman, si gamit an. Narotis niyo ang cathedral, dugay na siya kaayo. Di gihapon maguba. Kung naamay maguba, ma-destroy, it would take um, thousands of years. Most of the time, intentional ang pag-destroy. Pero, 
ang cathedral, i-compare ni Mohian o sa Kabalay, uh, mas dugay maguba ang cathedral. It lasts centuries. That's why iba uh, to response. This is what we call as cathedral thinking. Uh, cathedral thinking is a shorthand for long-term vision, evident in sacred architect architecture, but largely absent at present. Uh, and meaning ini, right now, as uh, barangay officials, what we should advocate is what we call as cathedral thinking. While we develop our barangay development plans, habang nag attend tayo ng mga barangay sessions, well, we should always think of how do we make our policies last long? Ini nga mga ordinansa, mga lokal na balaod nga atong ginamug na. Um, how would this affect thousands of years from now our localities? According to Greta Thunberg, it will take cathedral thinking to tackle the climate crisis. Yan di ba? Global warming, climate change. Our politicians less likely act on the climate crisis because they nila na iisip anun mahihita bo 100 years from now. Tinood, an ozone layer, nakikita ni peace. Pero it, it would take thousands of years or hundreds of years before talaga mabuho completely na uh, delikado na ha aton as, as humans on sun, sunrise, or sun, sun rays or UV rays, di ba? Um, the Greta Thun Thunberg is from, is a Swedish environmental activist. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, for us to appreciate what might happen in thousands of years from now, we should use cathedral thinking. Therefore, what then is futures thinking? It's an approach to strategic design that consists of, take note, number one, what is likely to change, anuman and most probably mag -iiba. and anuman and most probably same gahapon in the future to be more reflective in strategic planning. Okay? Uh, kung habisaya pa, ang futures thinking is ang paghuna-huna sa umaabot, mao ang paagi sa pagplano nga nagatan aw unsa ang posibleng magbago o unsa man ang magpabilin sa umaabot para mas maayo ang pagplano. Uh, raise your hand nga if you have a barangay development plan reviewed and recommended by the DALG. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am, kamo na bahala. Uh, futures thinking in a concept is not about predicting the future even. As I've said earlier, uh, we this is not diri kita nagamit han bolang kristal, kikitaon, uy, anon may nita bo ha barangay uh, in the municipality of Maripipi or Kabukgayan. No, that's not it. Rather, it's a means to illuminate ano ang posible mahita bo. Okay? So that when we think of what might happen, what could happen, we are better prepared. Again, the emphasis is on what will happen, not what will happen, but on what could happen given different situations. In local language, and features thinking is paghuna-huna sa moabot, dili pagtagna sa umaabot, kundi paagi para makita ang mga epekto sa mga problema karon nga makatabang sa mga tao o sa atong barangay para mas maayo ang umaabot. Ang punto, dili sa unsay siguradong mahitabo, kundi sa unsay posibleng mahitabo. Depende sa mga nakita nato nga kausaban. So, may da ka na notice yun eh, na the, word, the term futures thinking is pluralized. Ha, elementary, di ba, or high school, we learn uh, singular or plural. And in futures, it's a noun, obviously, and it's with an S, meaning it's plural. Uh, why is that, Sergio Del? The reason for this is there are multiple futures. Ano maabot, di rila kay usa, di rila kay dua. It's many. Uh, this is a very complicated graph, but 
this proves my point. Uh, daghan kaayo ang posibleng mahitabo 10 years from now, 5 years from now, starting from preposterous, possible, plausible, projected, probable, and finally, preferable. But let's simplify this illustration. The simplified version is what we call as the cone of possibilities. Our uh, goal or an atom in, in thinking about the future or in using features thinking ha atom barangay, tagsa-tagsa ng barangay, an atom uh, goal dapat nga mahit is what we call as the preferred features. Everybody say, dungan-dungan kita, let's say the term preferred features. One, two, three, go. Preferred features. Later, masasabta natin kay ano. But right now, as you can see on screen, and features thinking di rin niya bago ha Philippines. In fact, yan na ha Senate, uh, ginabutangan niya na inihan fund. There's funding for features thinking. According to Senator Pia Cayetano, I propose that we view the budget through the, from the lens of someone living in the future 20 to 30 years from now. Dapat daw, han paggamit natin, han kwarta, han tao, taxpayers, should be uh, through the lens of someone who is from the future and thinking of what best or ano ang best na pwede gamitin in yung mga budget. This is through or for the promotion of what we call as intergenerational equity. Because it's not just us now, ang affected, but also the future. But moving on, uh, nakikita niyo yun eh. Uh, so may data color yellow, if I'm not color blind. And may the color blue, green. And there's also color white. This is an illustration of what gen multiple generations look like. Itong color white, amito ang mga yumao na. Those people who are already who already passed away, one hundred billion estimated. Yeah, na ang kalibutan is composed of anong population natin yun na estimated to be seven point seven billion. Obviously, mas daghan ang patay compared sa buhi right now, twenty twenty four. But if imo kita on ang color yellow. That's way, way larger than the living. That's 6.75 trillion. Sir Judel, what's your point? My point is, in any action that we deal today, we should consider the 6.75 trillion na magmamana han atong generation. So that, that's an illustration from the United Nations. Therefore, Futures thinking is more than just operational, strategic, or tactical planning. It stands above because unusual na ito nga pagpaplano, very short term lang. Um, best case, kutubla, five years. I'm not sure uh, pira and barangay development plan, but definitely it's not thinking about what's ahead 50 years from now. Didi na pasok an futures thinking. Um, futures thinking uh, is aimed to describe 20 to 50 years change in the future or even beyond. Kasi nga, again, cathedral thinking. Uh, according to UNESCO, this is a UN body, the lack of futures literacy nakaka-affect hiya haaton because uh, by ha being futures literate, it helps barangays or organizations to identify and reimagine the future. Ba? When we know 50 years from now, uh, asa ang barangay maripipi, it makes us act in accordance to that future. And therefore, anatong mga policies pwede natin ma-adjust. So in, in your screen right now, ano ninyo nakikita? Ano ninyo animal? <laughs> Manok? No? This is a swan. Uh, a swan is, I'm not sure if native via Philippines, but I'm pretty sure uh, hindi siya typical, like nakikita na. 
So there's a term called the black swan. Usually kasi sa US, uh, Estados Unidos, ano yung mga swan did to white? And so, all this time, all those times, they thought na ang tanan niya swan's color white. But suddenly, when they visited Australia and other countries, they realized that there are also black swans. Anong point, Timo Sir Judel? The point is, diri kita maging comfortable kung ano nakikita natin yan at today. But let's also explore ang mga black swans. What are these black swans or unexpected, unexplored situations that could affect us? Such as, for example, the 9-11, di ba? In September 11, or on September 11, 2001, di ba? Ginbomba ang uh, United States uh, by 19 militants associated with the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda. Who would have thought that The United States, the most powerful country in the world, atakihon hira ang mga terrorista. Ba? That may not be directly an example of a black swan, but certainly we did not expect that. Ito, as you can see, this is a virus or COVID-19. Who would have thought that suddenly the world will shut down because of a virus? the COVID-19, di ba? These are things na dapat i-consider natin in all our long-term thinking. And so, even the United Nations, the largest international organ or body, has what we call as the Sustainable Development Goals na by 2030, kita ha, again, by 2030, dapat ma-achieve in it. So there are 17 goals all in all. Sa Philippines gihapon, before, ang mga development plan ng Pilipinas, gagmay la ang coverage, but it changed. Uh, now, may din ako sinisirin na uh, ambition natin, 2040. By 2040, how will Filipinos look like? Ano ang situation natin? According to this, Filipinos enjoy a strongly rooted comfortable, and secure life. This is an example, o sa inyo ka-example, han aton local policies na gamitan han futures thinking. Uh, uh, yan na, may daka sa sinisirin na uh, di na lang katama katul specific because it can be complicated. But we have what we call as the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028. This is also an example of foresight being applied to public policies. Why? Because they um, explored different scenarios and futures in terms of the different targets and PDP. Kita niyo ha lower left, there is what we call as practice good governance and improve bureaucratic efficiency. I believe, didi nasulod and mga barangay. So, in the whole packaging of the Philippines, this is where you insert. Therefore, we proceed to uh, the difference or the comparison between two terms. Number one is preferred future. Everybody say preferred future. Second is disowned future. And preferred future, as already explained kanina, Amoy na natin gusto. Meanwhile, or on the other hand, uh, this own future is not ideal future. We don't want this. So right now, um, maybe magkuha ka mo ang papel or even in your phone. Think of your barangay. Isipan niyo barangay yan, ha? Um, let's say 30 years from now or 50 years from now. So 2024 plus 30 2084. Am I right? Um, 2074. Computer na lang. Ang point ko, isipa by that time as kapitan ng barangay, ano ni mo preferred feature? I know na ang term limited na, pero importante gihapon nga makita natin ano ang posibleng atsura 
an EO barangay by that year. Again, or para mm, 20, 30 years or 50 years from now, what is your preferred future or preferred features if daghan? Okay, nakanote na? On the other hand, think of this own future. What don't you want to happen in your barangay? Kung sa inyong gana, dili ganahan mahitabo. For example, gamay income, di ba? Or daghag kaso-kaso. Or taas ang pollution. Or grabe ang away politiko. Amon yung mga button na we don't want or we disown. We do not own this kind of future. By doing this exercise alone, you've seen how uh, the different futures of course, in the future, may uh, play roles in our local governance. Haaton pag dumala, haaton barangay. So think about that. So this exercise is an example of a futures thinking tool. Another futures thinking tool is what we call as the futures triangle. Of course, as we can see, uh, this is a shape of a triangle. By the tulo ka <clears throat> sides, di ba? And triangle, we have pools of the future. If you can see, by the nagbibira ang uh, tawo. So by 2050, for example, ano man, ang gusto mahitabo han iyo barangay by 2050. That's your preferred future that pulls you toward what your preferred future is. Meanwhile, uh, you can see that there's also a push of the future, diba? Na ay bata nga uh, This means uh, forces that push a particular future. These pushes are or compel your barangay to pursue that future. This could be uh, opportunities. This could be threats. This could be uh, things na you are facing today in your current situation. Finally, may nagyapon bata ang pasaway. Ha? Lower right, di ba? There's a kid that tries to pull uh, or to tend to crab mentality. Dire gusto makato ha future, ha po, uh, preferred future. What are these? Uh, reflect right now and you take down notes in your phone or a piece of paper. Anuman ang pabigat, ha iyo barangay na, that prevents you from getting there by 2050 and barangay niyo dahon income or um, passer of awards from the DILG or very peaceful siya and it's a thriving community. Diba? Ano man yung mga weights? So, balik ko natin, Sir Judel, how would this be applicable to our local governance? Pag dudumala han mga tao or han mga officers of the community? Well, um, every time you make certain policies, or organized activities, or even vote and appoint people, you think of these features. Nakakabulig ba niya yung preferred future? Or nakakadugang la and wait or pabigat hiya, uh, that prevents your community from going to your features na you prefer. So, again, this is just an introduction, so we are already at the end. Uh, there are three conclusions I'd like to make. Number one, uh, may daka mo, power yan na. And influence to initiate change, to retool, recalibrate, and revisit the plans of your barangay. Again, it's in your hands. You are voted. The people trusted you. So think about the different features 
that you may explore. Uh, ikadua, uh, decision making calculus should be inclusive of long term ramifications of the present actions. As I've emphasized time and time again, uh, in our decision making, we should take note or take cognizance of what may happen, could happen, will happen in the future. And finally, um, if you take a look at one of the impacts of futures thinking, it's on the Bandadas ruling. You could think of the features of local governance along the full implementation or extent of the Mandana scarcity ruling. I know that the ALG has been doing a great job uh, in this particular endeavor. So think about how futures thinking then can improve your barangay development plans or help you become better and better public servants. Again, we are the servants of the public. So, habisay uh, agyapon, may dakata sinisirin nga futures thinking. Uh, it's, it's uh, of course, our local word, pohon, di ba? In God's perfect time, soon, hopefully, someday. So, right now, ask yourselves, what's your pohon for your barangay? Okay? Again, what is your pohon? That ends my presentation. So, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening. And if you have meant any question, uh, direct it to the DILG team and they will forward it to me and I'll gladly answer them. And if you have any requests at all regarding this presentation, just uh, reach out. So, dagang salamat, God bless, and I pray that you achieve your preferred features. Thank you.